All stars. Okay, Sierra Membership Meeting English Summer Edition. You may be curious, why is this the English Summer Edition? Why? Why? Well, let me tell you. Summer is ending and I don't want it to. See, Madam, Summer Ale is no longer in grocery stores. What? And you only have 40 cases to get through the winter? <laughs> I don't because you came over and drank all mine. Wow. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Anyway, uh, wow, I, this is a sad time for me because I really, really enjoy summer. And um, I don't know. Summer shouldn't go away. You're Maybe I need to be a snowbird or something. <laughs> go down with the J. <laughs> what if they have room for me? They might have Yeah, it. we'll have to find out. Okay, um, welcome Sarah and friends. If you are new to the club or this is your first time here, please introduce yourself. Uh, right I'm here. Brian Vandersall, N7BAM. In seven feet. Finally! Yeah. <laughs> All right, in seven VAN. It's one of those alien calls, you know? <laughs> There's fours around. Original game. That does. Fours, oh God. fours are, fours are devious people. They do <laughs> strange things. Yeah, they do fives. <laughs> Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Welcome, really and truly. Uh, we're glad you're here. And uh, as I try to say as often as I can, don't be a stranger. All right, very good. Anybody else? <laughs> he tells me to not be any stranger. No, but I like the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we're going to start off with announcements. Ham Fests are first, according to my agenda anyway. What do I do? Ham Fest, yeah. Well, we have the Berea Ham Fest coming up on the 22nd. That would be uh, that, that is uh, very soon. That's a great Ham Fest, by the way. Uh, so uh, that's one you want to, you might want to pay attention to. Uh, also, on the 27th, uh, the Maslin Amateur Radio Club has their Ham Fest. Uh, and it's going to be at MAPS, and I love MAPS. MAPS, MAPS is a great place for camp fest, and, and uh, anyway, uh, just a great location, great camp fest. I wanted to throw this one in on uh, the 5th, October 5th. That's in Lima. That's, uh, it's, a, it's a piece. It's a piece, but it's, it's doable. So uh, uh, those are the three camp fests that I'm aware of that are coming up uh, shortly. Anybody else have any other ham fests that they're aware of that uh, might be of interest to our group? Ooh, what? Tom. Tom? The Massillon Ham Fest Grand Prize is a uh, Yesu FTDX 10. Uh, and how much do I have to pay you to win? <laughs> uh, twice as much as what the radio is worth. Well, I'll just go to DX then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's 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 a that's a great price. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Anything else for the good of the cause on ham fest? All right. Other announcements. Uh, mark your calendar. The Christmas party is December twelfth. That is the second Thursday in November. It promises to be even better than December. last year. How about December? What did I say? November. November. Well, you know what I meant. You meant December. We know that. Jeez Louise. At least the slideshow was right. You guys, you're so critical. <laughs> we, we are. You are? <laughs> yes. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's see. December 12th. Oh, yeah. Here we go. December 12th. It's right there. Wait. Yeah. It's right there. At least I didn't put the wrong month up on PowerPoint. I mean, that's what I normally do. All right. Uh, and uh, secondly, Phil, you have to stand yes, up. Phil! Yeah. We want to welcome Phil, K-A-P-M, uh, to uh, the uh, Saturday morning rotation of the Barometer Net. Uh, remember, it is the premier drive time net in northeastern Ohio. So. Don't be shy. 
I don't think I was. I did it once. Well, then that's all it takes. All right, very good, and welcome, by the way. Dave. Uh, uh, tag along to that. Thank you, Phil. Uh, I think it's going to be great having you aboard as one of our cats. I heard cats. That's what I do. There you go. Just don't go to Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I make my extra money? <laughs> what's, what's this, man? Uh, our, I just want to make the announcement in addition to thanking Phil for jumping aboard. Uh, Stefan is the other Saturday... Um, Ham uh, or barometer net, barometer net net control op operator. She he's looking for picking up a weekday, either from Fred or from Gary, who do two weekdays each, uh, and which means that opens up a new slot for the rotation on Saturdays. So if somebody wants to be the next Phil. It doesn't have to be done immediately, but please think about that and maybe jump in for Stefan on Saturday so he can take a weekday because that's what he would like to do eventually. Uh, so if that's something you might think about doing, please seriously think about it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me get this straight. You, you need another fill? Yikes. No, they there's only one. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. It's not a bad band. Go see him. That sounds serious. World serious. Okay, executive committee meeting is coming up on September, sep, uh, September, let me read it. September 22nd. Yes. Oh, raising right. my hand. You've been ignoring me. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just natural. Do you, do you have this hall already reserved for the Christmas party? <gasps> yes. Yes. Okay. Do you have a caterer? <gasps> no. But I'm sure, uh, what's his name, Charlie? Yeah, I have a I'm, I'm sure Charlie won't, won't mind doing this again. How would you call him? In matter of speaking, that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, so uh, we just need to, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we have some time. But we should call and get it in the books. Yeah, because yeah, we're not the only one who does it. Okay, the executive committee meeting is going to be September 22nd. Uh, we got some things that we're, we're going to talk about. Uh, the executive community, by the way, is alive and well. Uh, just want everybody to know that. As a matter of fact, look, right here. There they are. Yeah. Which one are you? This guy. Uh-huh. Which one am I? I guess the redhead screaming. The guy guy the I'm not the squid, dude. Yes, you are the squid. Get out of my laboratory. Oh, yeah, it's Dexter. Okay, any other announcements for the good of the cause? He's using poisonous and psychedelic chemicals from the forest. Any other announcements for the good of the cause? Anybody? Anything? Uh, uh, I do want to say, I do want to thank Scott Yonley. He again provided us another handbook for as a door prize tonight. Awesome. And I honestly, I don't know what he thinks, uh, why he thinks we deserve that because I'm pretty sure we don't. Maybe I'm just telling him. Thank you, Scott. Fox Yeah, announce it. Uh, yeah. Fall Fox Hunt. We, uh, I believe uh, the K3LR is going to field trip is October 12th, which is the middle of the peak of fall colors. So I'm going to suggest we do the following Saturday, the 19th. That gives me an extra two weeks to plan as opposed to doing it a week before on the 5th. Um, uh, Mark wants to be a, a hunter this time, so... Uh, I, I might have an extra uh, help as uh, um, uh, the fox from Stefan. He's interested. Uh, so uh, how many people would prefer the 5th over the 19th and do it earlier other than later? Otherwise, I'm going to pick the 19th. Anybody else? Anybody prefer the 5th? Well, just to let you know, I couldn't do the 5th. That's the BE session. So if you do it All right, let's do it on the BE session. Let's do it on the 19th. That Fall Fox Hunt. That makes it very All right, bad. Fall Fox Hunt, uh, October 19th. Uh, we'll put out some details. Probably regular starting place, regular starting time, and I'll find a new place to hide. 
different pie? The only question is uh, do you guys like pie or should I pick something else? I heard. I heard. I heard. All right, we'll pick a pie. Do you want a different flavor? Peach. Peach? All right, I'll see if I can get a peach. That's the worst kind of pie. <laughs> oh, Russ, this a humbug. Okay, I'd like a 5B. <laughs> All right, what's the date? What's the October date? 19th. Okay. Fred, October 19th for the Fox Hunt? Yes. Make sure we got it? Okay. Anything else for a bulletin board? How much is that? Anything? All right. Looks like nothing. I don't know if they're. All right. Next up, uh, we have minutes. I sent them out. Thank you, Fred. Nice job on the minutes from August 18th. Uh, questions on the minutes? Anybody? Any comments on the minutes? Motion to approve okay. the minutes? Second. Well, we got Stefan and Dave. Uh, anybody have a problem with minutes? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Ah, oh, look at you guys. And if you say no, I don't care. No. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, after aye. all, the ayes had it. Aye. 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 All right, next up, here's our, our uh, treasury report. Uh, the $80 from the, um, from the picnic 5050 is not there because I just gave it to uh, Mike tonight. It will be on the next one. It yeah. will be. Anyway, this is uh, this is the uh, uh, the ledger for the month. Questions about the ledger? I guess the only thing that's really outstanding is uh, we have the sort of liability insurance. That was a couple hundred bucks. Was that a check? Uh, or was that an electronic transfer? That was all electronic. Okay. And the All Star Link, we made a donation to them for two hundred. Right. Other, other than just the usual stuff. All right. Yeah. Cool. Questions? Okay. Motion to approve. Fred. Second. <laughs> That'd be Nick. Wow. <laughs> okay. Was it Nick? That was Nick. All right, uh, the bottom line is you can see 3505.89, we're in pretty good shape. We, uh, uh, we're well prepared for any kind of repeat or emergency. Would you not say that, uh, Jason? I'm going to start calling a fire sale on club repeater equipment that's in my basement. No. <laughs> okay. Like I said, we're prepared for any eventuality with the repeater. Okay. I have four repeaters. I gave you two. Did we, did we pass this? The entire yeah, show. Yeah, we did. You right but you got to say I. Oh. I abstain because you, you don't have to vote on this issue. We don't. No, it's not according to the Roberts rule. Yeah, who cares about Robert? <laughs> we didn't vote for the pass. We had a first and a second. Okay. First and second. Who's in favor of passing the motion? Say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign? Aye. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you very much for that. And the first order of, uh, of uh, this, we had, I'll tell you, the picnic this year was fabulous. We had such a good picnic. Uh, Nick burnt burgers and, and dogs as well as sausage. sausage as well as anybody. The sausage was so good. Thank you, Mark. Well, thank you uh, and Russ, thank you very much for uh, getting all the food together. We appreciate that. And I want to thank everybody who attended. And I want to thank everybody who, honestly, we, we didn't have a whole lot left over. I mean, this was really pretty doggone good. And uh, I think there was a pretty good time had by all. And uh, uh, however, I do want to point out there she is, Miss Betty. It is very quiet here tonight, isn't it? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Josh had to work late. Lucy was boxing. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe a good, maybe a good idea that Lucy wasn't here. Could be. Mm. Okay. Anyway, what a doll baby she is. We love Betty. She's our mascot. One of our many mascots, actually. FQ. Uh, yeah. We had such a good time. <laughs> My lovely daughter from Austin, Texas, was here. Uh, and this guy keeps hanging around. I don't know who he is. Somebody's got to get his name and address, and we need to call the police or something. I was just showing you that my shoulder works. 
<laughs> uh, that's about time. Anyway, it was a good time, uh, and uh, the picnic has turned into a, a pretty, pretty doggone um, good thing. And as a matter of fact, the kids loved, loved cornhole. They would, they ran up and down those cornhole boards like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> now, none of us played any cornhole, but none, <laughs> nevertheless. I did. It was. <laughs> we didn't find the horseshoes till too late. But that doesn't count. That's Mark, you got two in a row. Two in a row. See? Two in Nick a row. was a champion. And I, I stopped after that, because where do you go from there? And you quit. That's what you do. <laughs> quit <right All>. <laughs> <laughs> And I would do want to say goodbye to my good friend, Auntie, uh, until next year. All right, next up, uh, the, uh, the fall apparel sale. Uh, I am getting prices now. You will know some more this month. Uh, we're going to, uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Whoops. What? What Did you notice up here in the corner lurking? Yeah. There he is. Scott and Mark. Yeah. Yeah, together again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I am impeachment bound. Just saying. Okay, we're getting prices on on the apparel sale. Uh, uh, it, it, it should be a good sale. I, I am. Uh, we'll see how the pricing comes in. We'll see what that's all about. But nevertheless, apparel sale is on. Uh, we will have delivery by Christmas. That's the idea here. Uh, the K3LR visitation the date is now October 12th. Brooker's not here, right? No. Okay. Uh, Brooker said he was going to be there. Brooker knows uh, Tim Duffy pretty doggone well. Anyway, uh, the idea is this. It's verified for the, for the 12th. We're going to drive. Everyone will drive individually to DXC. We'll meet there about 10 a.m. Uh, then we will tour the DXC facility. Now, well, in 2016 when we did that it was they, they, they showed us some things they gave us some goodies so I don't know what the what the everyone gets a radio <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. everybody gets a radio oh, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. yeah. all right you just pick out what you want yes. give you one of those icons that blow up <laughs> so so we're going to tour the DXE facility they might have some then uh, uh, we're going to carpool from DXE to K3LR. We'll arrive in Pennsylvania around noonish in that area. We're going to tour the K3LR facility. He's got 11 acres of antenna farm uh, plus a uh, incredible. Uh, let's see. Should I call it a shack? Mm, maybe not. Uh, anyway, it's a, it's an incredible facility. You will be impressed. And I'm sure you can take away some things uh, uh, from, from what he's done. Uh, it truly is a remarkable multi-multi contest station. There's only a handful of those stations in the world anyway. But uh, his is one of the premier stations for sure. Uh, lunch with Tim Duffy is up in the air. There's, I, I was t talking to Terry and she said maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We can have lunch anyway. I'm all about eating. And uh, I was thinking about, I didn't realize, though, that uh, the wing place, Quaker uh, 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 State, State, they sold that, but then reinvested and, and brought it back because of the outcry. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. But there's more than one place to eat in Pennsylvania, I think. Isn't there? There's two. There's two? Yes. The, the rest stop with the vending machines. Yes, <laughs> my favorite. Um, anyway, so that's uh, at the idea we'll return to DXC approximately somewhere between 4 and 4.30. Uh, it should, if it's anything like 2016, it'll be a fabulous time. Uh, now, Jason, pay attention. This weekend, sometime like, actually any time from between now and, and this weekend, uh, we need to put up a, a registration for attendance to the K3LR trip, and you also uh, need to put a uh, uh, who would be willing to drive as well. I, I'd like to make sure we have a handful of people. I'm estimating somewhere between 12 and 15 
uh, overall. Eric, do you have any idea of how many guys from uh, work are going to go? No, we have not discussed it. You haven't discussed it yet? Well, we got plenty of time. Uh, if you would, we will if you would well. take care of that yeah. and, uh, and, and point them to our website so we can get a count. I got to give that count to her on the 30th. Which is uh, they, she? Uh, Terry wanted it two weeks ahead of time. Not exactly sure why she needs it two weeks ahead of time, but she does. She said she does. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's um, that's what we're going to do. And uh, it, it should be a great trip. But we, we just need to. I, I truly want to know who's willing to drive ahead of time before we do that. And also. You know, if you're riding with somebody, kick them a couple bucks for gas. I mean, you know, it's only, only, only right, only right. Uh, that being said, any questions about the K3LR visitation? Yes, sir. How much does it cost? Thousand dollars. But it's worth every penny. Million dollars. No, it's free, of course. <laughs> and uh, uh, just, uh, uh, you'll have to pay for your lunch. That thousand dollars goes towards your free radio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, you'll want to be doing some antenna work uh, once you're done with this presentation. Okay. All right, any any other questions about that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. No, you're good. Well, I know I'm good, but. <laughs> <laughs> so the DX. Engineer you keep telling yourself. Yeah, you're gonna you're love really like this place. I mean, seriously, there there is nothing. How many people have been there, by the way? I've been by. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 super. Yes. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. Any other questions on this? This post is in my way, so. I'm That's why I'm sitting behind it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Uh, this is, actually isn't on the agenda, but this was an idea I had and I was thinking about just kind of throwing it out. Well, I am going to just throw it out. I was thinking about a mini ham fest at our meeting. Now, what prompted this was when we had Zeke stuff and we had all this stuff back there, everybody was really interested in looking this stuff over and, and uh, uh, you know, just browsing through things. and. And I thought, you know, we could, if we wanted to, we could have what I'm going to propose as a mini ham fest. Uh, the idea is, I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm an, an unusual ham. Just odd. You're just a normal ham. Okay, I'm kind of a normal ham, maybe an unusual human being, but thank you, Dave. Appreciate that. Uh, but, but I mean, I got some things sitting around the house that I, I've been thinking about taking to a ham fest forever and ever and ever and ever. And it just hasn't ever, ever happened. So I was, if, if you would like, if you got a piece of gear or two, I'm not looking for, for you to bring your, your junk box and set it up or grab one of these tables and set up a table like you would at a ham fest. But if you had an item, uh, uh, this Accessory a at a regular meeting, and what we would do is we could put it on the back, like there's some stuff set up back there now, or we could put it on a table around the perimeter. Now, here's the deal: I'm thinking if we would do so, if we would do something like this, we would uh, like one or two items. You know, again, I'm not interested in you showing up with your junk box or anything. And I am definitely not interested in you leaving anything here because, well, it didn't sail. I don't want it anyway. We're not looking to, to transport junk back. Right. Okay, but if you have something that you, that you think, yeah, I got a quality piece of equipment here and I would like to sell it, uh, or so we, we can do that. Now, there's two ways that we can do it. We could do it every meeting. And just whoever has something that they would like to sell, we could put, set up a place. Uh, you would have to bring it, you know, early. Uh, we're open here by 6:30 at the latest, typically, and then just bring it early, set it down. What can't happen is that it interfere with our meeting. Like right now, if we had some thing items in the back, 
and half of you were back there looking around as you would at a ham fest, actually, that would not be good. So we can't do that. So the other way we could do it is have a, a meeting and, and just kind of skip the tech talk and just say, we're going to have a ham fest tonight, so bring some stuff. And then after the meeting, then we go and just ham fest away. So all that being said, oh, last item, important item. If you don't sell anything, you got to take it home. It cannot show up in the trash can back there. Can't show up there. It's got to show up in your in your car or in someone else's car who bought it. Fred. Do we still have a portion of our club's website that has equipment? Yes. Yeah, and that's an option. That doesn't get a lot of activity. No. It does not. Jason got rid of it. it. it took it down a long time ago. Oh, it's down? Because no one was using it. Oh, okay. Well, it's, there you go. I didn't even know it was down. So, yeah. Um, Does anybody besides me think that this is a decent idea? I think it makes it easy to fill in a text slot that you're trying to fill. If well, if we, yeah, way. if we needed to do that, that would be good. I'm in the same boat, so yeah. And that way, so so have a a, a text take take a text talk to slot. Right. Yeah, a couple times a year, maybe. Yeah, a couple times okay. a year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe three times a year. Any other discussion on that? Once, twice, three times a year, possibly. Twice. 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 Okay. Any other comments? Any other discussion? All right, then that's what we'll do. Um, and I think, I, I mean, it might be fun. And if it doesn't work, yeah, we'll can. Yeah. That's all. If, if you try to do it every weaning, then it just... It, Distract. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. I was kind of leaning that way myself, but if, uh, I was thinking there was a couple ways to implement it, and that's, uh, that's not a bad way to implement it. Are we, are we all good with that? Yeah. Anybody not good with that? Good, because I'd hate to have to kill somebody. Let me make a motion then. Let's, let's do our first one in January. After the first of the year, do we have any, or we don't have any I, I don't know yet. Um, it, we don't have to make a motion, I don't think. Okay. We're, we're just going to, we'll, we'll do it. It'll be um, like the tech talks. It, this will just be um, um, a mini ham fest time. Yeah. So make sure everybody has enough notice so that oh, absolutely. extra people can plan to be here. Because it Ross. could be a draw. Everybody else should bring money. <laughs> bring money. <laughs> Just in case you see something. <laughs> Nothing gets by you. No. I know. Okay. Uh, all right. Not a bad looking crew there. That AI. Not good either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're pondering over, but it looks exciting. All right, so uh, that's that. Now, next, our tech talk tonight is a, uh, we're gonna do an overview of All Star Lake V3. Jason? Yep. You're gonna be up here, okay? Fred? Move to adjourn second. Well, we're not there yet. <laughs> Does it say adjourn anywhere up there, Fred? Come on. He done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, he's behind the bowl. Fire you need, okay. Fire yeah. me. Please. Please fire me. All right. All right, this is an important section. Okay, go ahead. Anybody have any questions, any comments, anything that, uh, if so, wow. Anything? Somebody else has two. You asked for it, dude. Perfect time. Thank you, Matt. Your daughter, take it. Yeah, she'll she'll understand. Okay, so uh, J Jason, go Just, ahead. We, we had talked about reminder that the 50/50 goes to defray the cost of renting this room every month. Very good. Yeah, the 50/50 raffle. Uh, when we originally got into that, we decided that that would be one way that we could pay pay for the room, uh, which so far I think it's done fairly well, well hasn't it? Today, isn't it? Okay, but. You don't have very many people here today. 
40 people here. Yeah, well, everybody don't buy tickets. Well, I didn't buy any tickets yet because you don't have any change. But I'll get there. I'll get quarters. there, I promise. <laughs> Okay, uh, and again, the 50-50, it goes to support the club specifically for the, the hall rental. And I think uh, everybody's seen that since we've come here, things have gotten a whole lot better and, we've, and attendance is up and it's just been, uh, it's just been a good thing. So, um, there you go. Okay, anything else? And Jason, thanks for that. Bucks. I appreciate it. Me any? Yeah, Stephen. So they're not members of our club, but they're really nice. I got a message a little bit earlier today. Um, Some of you want to know the overcast. Josh and Marie. Josh is K Y U G, Y U G, and then Marie is K K F A A N S. She was just licensed a couple of doors ago. So this is good, good news. So they are expecting their first, which is twins. So I guess they're, they're expecting their first and second in one thing. The reason I brought that up is we hear them on the nets, and they are on the beacon net a lot. So when you hear Marie, and Marie's a sweetheart. Do you, what's it called? Marie's is K-F-A-A-N-S. Josh is K-E-A-Y-U-K. Y-U-G. 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 Y-U-G, that's what I said earlier. Young. Thank you. But, yeah, so that's, say hello to them, congratulate them, it's their first, and they're buying, they bought their new, first new home, I guess, because they've been renting a place. Real nice people, they always check into our net, so I just wanted to share that to you guys. Nice people. And our next VE session is October 5th, so there you go. All right. All right, anything else for the good of the cause? Anybody? Okay, 50-50 raffle. If you haven't gotten your 50-50 raffle, raffle ticket, I haven't. Now's your opportunity. Get your 50-50 raffle, help pay for the, uh, the hall. And uh, the next Sierra Club meeting will be August. 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 October. Again. Again. October. <laughs> going backwards in time. I know, he wants summer to stay. He's got that loop going. You know, summer to stay that long. Did you circle that? He's okay, next month. He's circling back. 17. Next month is... Uh, 17. 17. October 17. October 17. Okay, I think I got it right on the agenda. I might have. I might have. I laughed to chat. All right, anyway, uh, plan to attend and bring a friend, please. Uh, take five, and Jason's going to get all set up here, and we're going to be rocking and rolling with a little all-star link. Uh, I need a, we got to do our 50-50 raffle, but that's okay, we can still adjourn. Uh, motion for adjournment. Right. Stefan? I'll second. Uh, Scott, second, and... Uh, yeah, uh, make sure you get Hi. your 50. Hi. Yeah, just, we're done. We're done. Okay, so.